Hi guys, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video uh, is a going to attempt to try to demystify uh, what's going on behind the scenes in relation to calculating the greatest common divisor of two numbers. Uh, but more importantly, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Euclidean algorithm, uh, which is going to help us or allow us to find uh, the GCD, uh, or the greatest common divisor of two numbers. And just as an example, and I suppose uh, for my students, the primary use of, of the Euclidean algorithm and find the GCD uh, is in relation to when they're when they're using a cipher uh, to, I suppose, encrypt and decrypt a particular piece of plain text. So in this case here, just to keep this particular example uh, short, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just assume that our alphabet is of size 26, that's the English alphabet. Uh, let's assume they're all lowercase. And what I'm going to try to do is we're going to try to find the greatest common divisor of two numbers. Uh, so what I'd like to do is to find uh, the GCD of, let's say, 15 and 26. Okay. So we'd like to find the largest number okay, that divides into 15 and also divides into 26. And the way we're going to do that, I mean, we could do it by trial and error, yeah, by going through all the numbers uh, from, I suppose, all the non-trivial numbers uh, from, well, all the numbers from one up to 15 and seeing what's the largest one in that particular list that divides 15 and also divides 26. For very purposes, we'll use the Euclidean algorithm. And the process goes like this. And what we do is we take the largest of the two uh, the two numbers that we need to find the GCD of, in this case 26, and what we'd like to do is we'd like to write 26 down as uh, some multiple of 15, okay, some multiple of 15, uh, let's say x uh, plus some remainder, okay, and this is what's known as the division algorithm. I suppose the question we're really asking is, how many times does 15 divide into 26, okay? In this example, we know uh, 15 goes into 26. It only goes in once. So what we would have is we would have 26 is equal to 15 times 1, okay? Because it goes in once, plus some remainder. And in our situation here, the remainder is going to be, well, it's clearly uh, 26 minus 15, and 26 minus 15 is going to give us a remainder of 11. So actually, from a Euclidean algorithm perspective, the first phase, from a Euclidean algorithm perspective, okay, uh, what we have is 26 is equal to 15 times 1 uh, plus, uh, plus 11. Okay? So we know that 15 divides into 26 once with a remainder of 11. And this is what's known as a division algorithm. And what we're going to do is we're going to do multiple passes of the division algorithm, okay? Uh, I'll try to rationalize in a moment why we continually do this, yeah, okay? Uh, the, I suppose the answer is from a modulo arithmetic perspective. We won't, we won't talk too much about that. So once we've done the first pass of the Euclidean algorithm, what we then do is we take, I suppose, a previous video that I've seen, he said what we do is we shift to the left. So when I shift to the left, the new number that we're going to ask, we're going to calculate is, well, with respect to 15 and 11, okay, how many times does 11 go into 15? And what we have here is we have 15, uh, it's equal to 11 times 1 plus a remainder of 4. Okay, so we've applied the division algorithm to these two numbers, okay? our original number that was in our GCD, okay, and also the remainder, okay? And we know this remainder is always going to be less than our original number, yeah, because it is a remainder. If it wasn't, it would have gone in, divided in another number of times, okay? So once we've done the second pass, the next thing is, okay, looking at 11 and 4, okay, how many times does 4 divide into 11? Well, we have 11 is equal to 4 times 2, it divides in twice, uh, plus a remainder of 3. And we do it again. We look at 4 and we look at 3. And we ask how many times does 3 divide into 4? Well, what we have is we have 4 is equal to 3 times 1 plus a remainder of 1. And then we do it again. We ask ourselves the question, how many times does 1 divide into 3? Well, clearly 1 goes into 3 3 times. So 3 must be equal to 1 times 3 plus a remainder of zero. Okay, so what we've had is we've had multiple passes of the division algorithm, yeah, okay, and what we hopefully we can see is that we have a list of remainders, and the remainders are, are I suppose, they're getting, they're decreasing as we go down through them. Now, there's a little theorem that uh, tells us that when we do multiple passes of the division algorithm, t 
together known as the Euclidean algorithm, that this list of remainders will always tend down to zero, okay? and that at some stage we'll always get to a remainder of zero. But more importantly for us, the greatest common divisor is defined, okay? the greatest, the greatest common divisor okay? is defined to be the last, the last non-zero okay, remainder okay, in this application of the division algorithm. So the last non-zero remainder is this remainder here. So actually the greatest common divisor of 15 and 26, the GCD of 15 and 26 is equal to 1. Okay, uh, let's do another example. Okay. Let's do another example. Let's this time, uh, let's take, the question is, let's find, uh, 